Ho, ho, ho. It's Santa here. A very Merry Christmas and the happiest New Year. Ho, ho, ho. Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York, and just like Santa said, Merry Christmas to everyone and a happy, happy, healthy New Year. We're going to close out this year at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey, with a visit to Holiday in the Park. I did the drive through video a couple weeks ago to kick off the season, and now that uh, things are winding down, we're going to do a walkthrough of the park just to get a little bit more in the spirit and uh, see what's going on here at Great Adventure. So sit back, make a nice eggnog or a hot cocoa, and enjoy the video. I love coming to Six Flags Great Adventure during the holiday season. It's so festive with all the lights and the music playing and the food. And we're going to check out some of that food, by the way, later in this video. But uh, it's just a great, great way to close out the year here at Six Flags. For those of you not familiar with uh, Holiday in the Park here at Great Adventure, there's two experiences. One is a drive-through uh, experience, which all the stores and restaurants are closed. It's closed off to pedestrians. The only thing you'll uh, see here as you're driving through is all the beautiful decorations and a lot of the characters like the princesses and the nutcrackers that are walking around. Um, other than that, it's strictly closed off to pedestrians. It's a great video. It's a great experience. Especially if you have some hot chocolate and snacks in your car, you just take your time. Driving is very slow through the entire park, and I always have a good time. And again, if you can, catch that video. The second experience is the regular when they open up the park to pedestrians. All the stores are open, the restaurants are open, and I say all the stores and restaurants. About three quarters of the park is open this time of the year. The far end of the park is closed off, but there's so much to see in those, those open areas that are three quarters of the park that you really don't even notice that, that some of the park is closed off. But again, uh, all the characters are out and the decorations are simply beautiful and you get to obviously walk around and go shopping as well. And that happens on the evenings when the drive through isn't happening. Obviously they can't both happen at the same time, so they kind of trade off every other night. Great Adventure is uh, sectioned off into different areas. This is the Main Street area uh, where this Christmas tree is. The rest of the year is a beautiful fountain, but this time of the year they erect this Christmas tree which puts on a beautiful light show about, I, I'm going to guess every 30 minutes, I could be wrong, but uh, lots of music. The tree lights up beautifully in sync with the music and uh, it's a nice experience here. This is pretty much ground zero for the park. We're slowly approaching the Ferris wheel here at Great Adventure, and I noticed during the um, Fright Fest, which is during Halloween, and now during the holiday in the park, it's not operating, which I can understand. It's chilly out, so maybe people don't want to go on a Ferris wheel. It's pretty high, uh, but I don't know why it's not lit up. I mean, that would just make the park that much more beautiful. It's completely in the dark. I don't know why. For those of you familiar with the observation wheel on the steel pier in Atlantic City, that beautiful wheel is lit up 24-7, 365 days of the year, regardless of the weather. And people can appreciate it, even if they have no plans on going on it. It's a beautiful sight to behold, whether you're in a restaurant at the casinos or walking the boardwalk. It, it really does light up the skyline, and uh, the Ferris wheels, I think, should be lit. 
As I approach the wheel, I see that it actually is in operation. It wasn't during Fright Fest, but uh, the lights are still not on. Maybe they're having technical difficulties. I have no idea. Regardless, let's enjoy the scenery. These fire pits are located throughout the park and not only provide warmth, much needed warmth I should say, but also uh, you can buy a s'mores kit for not that much, less than 10 bucks, and make some s'mores on them as well. I love those twinkle lights coming down from the blue trees. This is Granny's Kitchen, one of the more popular eateries here in the park, and as most of the eateries here, there's dining indoors and outdoors as well. Later in the video, I'm going to stop off for a holiday in the park funnel cake. Great Adventure will find any excuse to make a seasonal funnel cake. Uh, I just had one in the holiday in the park, I'm sorry, the uh, Fright Fest video here on the New York Channel. And we're going to try out the holiday one in a little while. By the way, I'm falling back on uh, some of the areas of this park during the holiday season. I told you about Main Street Christmas, which was where we walked in and where the tree was. And then where those beautiful twinkle lights were coming down, those blue trees. That's called Polar Point. And where Grandma's Kitchen was, that's the North Pole. And right now we're heading into Holiday Memories. And while I'm thinking about it, I'd like to give Robert Camacho a shout out for finding Clarice, the Miss America crown, in my latest Atlantic City video, Harris Atrium Suite Tower Hotel Tour, Hotel Room Tour. Uh, Robert Camacho, by the way, is the husband of Deborah Camacho, another faithful subscriber to the New York channel. Good job, Robert.
This is one of my favorite areas in the park to grab a bite. There's so many options in this area. This and the boardwalk, which is on the other end, we'll see later in the uh, video. But they have Johnny Rockets here. They have a pizzeria. They even have a fish and chips place here. And just lots and lots of different types of uh, quick bites that you can grab while uh, walking around the park. And here's the Poinsettia Princess, or the Poinsietta Princess, however you want to say it. Looks like the kitty rides are still working this time of year, and I'd say about 70-75% of the rides are working uh, during holiday in the park. And again, don't forget, a quarter of the park on the other side is completely closed off to the public. It's not part of holiday in the park. But for the most part, I'd say a majority of these rides are working right now. Don't forget to look for the Joker who shows up on all my Six Flag videos, including this one. Sometimes he's easy to spot, other times he can be quite elusive. Be the first to spot him, leave a comment below with the timestamp that you spotted him, and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. This is the uh, Jersey Devil Snack Bar. Right now we're in the area of the brand new Jersey Devil Roller Coaster, which I believe is the country's tallest, fastest, longest single rail roller coaster. And we just walked through Whimsical Wonderland. We're in festive fireside now, and we're heading towards Holiday Heroes, the area of the park that has the superhero rides. And here we have the Evergreen Queen. I guess she ranks higher than the Poinsettia Princess.
just curious, at what age do children learn that they don't need to run to every destination? They can simply walk there. And then sometimes I wonder if we never learned that lesson and as adults we just ran our entire lives. I would imagine things like shopping and mowing the lawn would be a lot more dangerous. She was so nice! I want to talk to her. This area of the park is called the Merry Marketplace and it's kind of like a special events area of the park. I think if you were going to have a corporate event, uh, this is where it would be. This is also where the park has their own special events, their annual events, like the Wine Fest that was several weeks ago. I did a live stream of that Wine Fest and uh, the only people who actually saw it were the dozen or two people who actually watched the live stream. I never uploaded it to YouTube because while I wasn't too happy with the event, it was a little meh and uh, I decided just not to put it up on the channel. And speaking of old St. Nick, a little reindeer told me that this is where he likes to hang out. It's called Santa's house, of course. You can do a fire pit rental here. It's 50 bucks for about 45 minutes to get Four cups of hot chocolate, four s'mores kits, you get of course the fire pit, and a whole bunch of Adirondack chairs to sit around with family and friends.
Here's another Saint Nick, this one a lot bigger than the one we saw at Santa's house a few moments ago. And in case you're wondering, that big green roller coaster off in the background is called the Joker. Not the mascot you should be looking for in this video, but the big roller coaster here at Great Adventure. This is the Funnel Cake Factory, and it's uh, the place where I go for my seasonal funnel cakes. Every time there's a seasonal event here at Great Adventure, this is where I come for the seasonal funnel cake. My last one was at Fright Fest, and that video showed that it was quite a concoction. This one for this uh, holiday in the park is called Peppermint Funnel Cake, and as you'll see, it doesn't quite live up to the Fright Fest funnel cake, but it's still quite a mouthful. It's only $12.99 and only 1,490 calories. That's less than a penny a calorie, and in my book, that's a diet dish. So what I got here is a nice warm funnel cake, freshly made with some vanilla ice cream, some whooped cream, some fresh whooped cream, and some uh, candy cane sprinkles on top. I think what's missing here is something chocolate. I mean, it's really not Christmas if there's no chocolate, right? Judging by the price and the calories, these are meant to be shared, but, well, it's a shame I'm here by myself today, so let's see what I can do. Hey, what are you looking at? Yeah, this is mine, and I'm going to eat the whole thing. All right, maybe I couldn't finish it, but I'm still proud of myself. Now let me try to get myself off this chair. Excuse me, if I only eat half, do I get 650 back? Hello? There was something about the warm glow that ignited within me feelings of joy, peace, love, and togetherness that the holidays bring. And now, as I get to watch the holiday magic sparkle in the eyes of my own children, the wonder has grown. That's my wish for you, that the lights of the holidays warm your hearts as you enjoy holiday magic, a celebration of the season. Alrighty, here's where I might run into some copyright issues, so I'm going to search YouTube and see what I could find to... Uh overwrite the music in the background here with some uh, different types of holiday music.
See, editing sound and video is a piece of cake. I hope you guys appreciate that. It just wouldn't be Christmas without a little shopping.
This video is being uploaded Christmas Eve and most of you will probably be doing something else rather than watching the New York Channel Christmas Eve, but hopefully you'll watch it this weekend or sometime a couple days later. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you for uh, subscribing to the channel, being loyal followers, and I wish everyone a very happy, healthy holiday. By the way, on the way out of the park this uh, holiday in the park at Great Adventure, I picked up a lot of souvenirs and I'm looking forward to giving them away to you guys in the near future. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.